Okay, let's take a look at this. So Donald Trump over the weekend said this. Low insulin pricing was gotten for millions of Americans by me in the Trump administration, not by crooked Joe Biden. He had nothing to do with it. It was all done long before he so sadly entered office. Don't you love the drama? <laughs> so sadly entered office. All he does is try to take credit for things done by others. In this case, me. In caps, me. <laughs> but where is the truth on this, folks? Well, he's he's actually, give credit where credit is due here. He's actually kind of right. And I know that's going to upset a lot of people out there hearing that. But yeah, that's the truth. He tried. Now, it was sort of a, a fumbling sort of thing that he did on December 20th, 2020. So it was a month before he left office. And it's just an example, though. He tried to do this through executive order. And it's an illustration of how you can't legislate something as complicated as health care through executive orders. It just doesn't work. It's, it's too complicated. It, there's too much going into it. Legislation goes through the proper channels, you go through committees. Yeah, it sounds bureaucratic, but you you vet things, right? You make sure they're good before you, you implement them. So this article, I've got to show you this. So this article is entitled, Biden Administration Rescinds Trump Administration Insulin Pricing Rule. It's from October 24th of 2021. It's coming from Policy and Medicine, uh, the magazine that's online. It's called Policy Med. Dot com. And the article says one of the final health care actions made by the Trump administration has been rescinded by the Biden administration on December 23rd, 2020. The Trump administration finalized a rule that directed the Department of Health and Human Services, also known as HHS, to take action to require that federally qualified health centers make insulin and injectable epinephrine available to certain patients at 340B prices. You know, which are really low prices. It's what we're talking about. So one of the things in this the article says the agency took issue, and they're referring to the HHS, with the requirement that health centers would need to create and maintain new practices to determine patients' eligibility to receive drugs at or below the discounted price paid by the health center plus a minimal fee. HHS also noted its belief that the implementation of the rule would have resulted in reduced resources available to support critical services to health center patients, including those who use insulin and injectable epinephrine. So again, this is why you go through committee because the HHS at the end of the day said, you know, my God, what have you done here? You've created a monster. One month before you leave office, you sign this to lower the price of insulin. And, you know, <laughs> it's a problem. It's a problem. So, I mean, it's um, it's it's interesting, though, folks. Yeah, I mean, he actually did try to do something, but it was sort of a fumbling effort. And that was one of his promises, that he was going to lower the price of insulin. That was one of the promises that he made to the American people and his administration. So, you know, I guess I'm asking this question then, folks. Why didn't he do it? when he had the supermajority in the House and the Senate. And what did he do when he had the supermajority in the House and the Senate? Total control. What did he do? Well, he passed the Tax Cut and Jobs Act of 2017, which I call health or uh, tax cuts for the rich. He tried to repeal the Affordable Care Act's individual mandate. Well, he did. You know, okay, the $600 mandate, they got rid of that. Okay. He tried to counter America's adversaries through Sanctions Act. He did the First Step Act, Veterans Affairs Accountability, Whistleblower Protection Act, John C. McCain, John S. McCain National Defense Authorization, uh, which authorized the budget for the Department of Defense. So nobody remembers that stuff. We all remember the Tax Cut and Jobs Act, of course, right? But nobody remembers the rest. Why didn't you put something like this back there? when you had control of the House and the Senate. Because, let's face it folks, Republicans aren't known for their health care plans. In fact, we're still waiting on Donald Trump's health care plan that he promised two weeks ago, four years past. Um, I mean, it's just a sad, it's just the reality of it. And 
between 2011 and 2016, folks, they tried to repeal the Affordable Care Act 60 times. And then in 2017, they passed the American Health Care Act, trying to kill it, the Better Care Re Reconciliation Act that tried to kill it, the Skinny Repeal that tried to kill it, the Graham Cassidy, Heller Johnson bill that tried to kill it. All they're trying to do is kill health care. So, I mean, um, you couple that with abortion and we've got a real, we got a real uh, Chernobyl Republican Chernobyl situation with healthcare. I'm just saying, right? It's the it's the facts, and Democrats are known for being on top of healthcare. I mean, that's why we we've got what we do have. Um, so, folks, at the end of the day, yes, he tried. I guess we can say that. Yeah, he tried. He was fumbling, didn't work. Proof that you can't legislate effectively. You can't do immigration through. Executive orders, you can't do health care through executive orders. There's limits on what you can do through executive orders. But, um, yeah, I'll give my penny for trying. Till next time, folks. <laughs>